In today's video, we start our quest for the all-important search for that real Christmas feeling. Spoiler alert, it's not in Wrexham. Will shows his prowess at Christmas tree assembly and decoration. So go on then, introduce yourselves. Hello and welcome to Postcard and Bike. I'm Rachel. I'm Wills. And today we're super excited. It's our first day off in ages and we're coming in search of Christmas. My favourite thing. We're starting off in Wrexham because we've heard there's a Christmas market here. Come on. But first, we heard about this place two years ago and we're finally paying a visit. We've just come to the Wrexham Christmas Factory Outlet Shop. It's in the middle of an industrial estate. I've never been here. How come we've never been here before in all the years we've lived here? Anyway, let's go take a look. Excited. I have the feeling someone's Christmas cup shall runneth over in the not too distant future. There's a sparkly snowflake, a reindeer and a snowman. Someone let him in before he explodes. There's just about every type of Christmas decoration, Christmas display and bauble you could possibly want. We decided to do two laps of the store, one just to look and one to select a few things to buy. After all, we had to keep it classy. Am I allowed any tinsel? No. Case rested, even without tinsel. How happy are you, Wills? I thought so. And if you've been good, this fella may pay a visit. And you're too big to sit on his knee. Right, we're on lap two. He's got his shopping basket. Thank God these were too expensive. It was free to take an Elfie, though. Snowmen, robins and glittery, glittery stars. This start to finding Christmas has been amazing. Go on, show us what you bought then. Well, that was fun. Glad we know that's there now. We bought today a fire guard, this one here, and we also bought a couple of lovely glass jars. Will's got some Christmas lights. We got some smelly Christmas decorations that smell of uh, Christmas trees. Funny that. And uh, we'll show you later. Oh, and a snowman on a stick and a robin. Christmas is getting started. Come on, right into Wrexham. We're just about to go to the Christmas market, super excited, but first off, we just stopped off here. And if you've been watching Rob and Ryan's Welcome to Wrexham, you recognise this place. It's the race course, Wrexham's football ground. They are doing so well at the moment. They're top of the league, they're still in the FA Cup. We've got everything crossed for a fairy tale ending this time. Go on, lads. The streets of Wrexham were looking extremely unfestive. What's going on? We've got to Wrexham. There claims to be a Christmas market today. There's no one around. We wouldn't be surprised if it's not on. Let's go take a look. Well, there's a tree, a Merry Christmas banner. I mean, it's a cracking tree, but there is definitely no Christmas market here. Well, that's a big fat fail. We've got to Wrexham. There's a tree, but there's no market. Now the website, well there wasn't really a website, but there was a couple of articles online. Some of them said it was in December, and some of them said it was the last week of November, which is now when we're filming this. Obviously it wasn't. Hmm, not quite sure what we're going to do next, so uh, let's go get something to eat. Rob and Ryan, you might have sorted out the football club and done wonders for the city. If you could now sort out whoever is in charge of the city's social media, fire them, lots of people would be most grateful. I mean, it may taste like Christmas, but it certainly doesn't look like it. And it's kind of ruined our first attempt to search for Christmas after such a promising start. Thanks both, from Postcard and a Pint. So what now, Rach? Well, the day's gone a bit peak tongue and we don't know what to do now, how to save it. We're gonna go and get some lunch. We're gonna have a little chat and a regroup. We'll make this video work if it kills us. Come on. Now we like the fat boar. Lovely, freshly prepared food. The day is looking up. So how's it going? It's not going very well, is it? First, I was denied my sausage at Christmas market because the Christmas market wasn't even there. Now the fat boar is full, can't get a table. Where shall we eat? Come on. Up the hill to the Wednesday Arms it is. Yup, it's all looking pretty festive. Do we think we can save this video? OK, we've stopped for something to eat. I was just talking to the girl behind the bar, saying we come all the way for the market, it's not on. She said there is one in the church at the top of the road. So we'll have our dinner and then we'll go and have a look up there. We might be able to save the day yet. But first, a Sunday dinner. And some bangers and mash. Then back out to find a shop and a market. Ah, uh, yeah the 16 now. Wales isn't one of them. At least Tesco was a bit more Christmassy. It certainly was. We bought ingredients for mulled wine to finish this festive video. We're ever the optimists. That's festive. Now where's the market? We've moved the car, we've driven past the church, the door is open, there's a sign that says Christmas Fair, the day may yet be saved. Come on. 
And then it wasn't. Now either we've got the wrong place, it's not here, or it's finished. <laughs> we found it! But it's finished. Mm. OK, so that was a fail. How did we do, Wills? Well, we didn't do too well in Wrexham. We thought, I know, while we're here, we'll put the drone up, show some nice clips of the football ground. No, not allowed, no fly zone. So we thought we'd come home, put the Christmas tree up, but we came back via mould and we've just noticed there's a frost fair on. I think there's still half an hour left of it, so let's go and have a look at it. The sun is starting to set and there appears to be life in the high street. Could it be that Christmas is in mould? Dreadful name, yes we know. Check out this video to learn more about it. But it's a great town. That looks nice. Lots of lovely stuff there. Bobble hat and scarf, anyone? There were lots of craft stalls, independent distilleries and breweries, but just to keep in line with the rest of the day, most people were packing up. Here's one. How does Moses make tea? Dunno. He brews. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. I finally made a purchase, a gingerbread wax melt. So at least today can smell Christmassy, even if it hasn't panned out quite as we hoped. So home we go and on to important stuff. Right, we're going to put up the tree. As you'll see, it's an artificial one. There will be a real one in the house, but let's do it. Now, you'd have thought that Mr. I Love Christmas and has worked in technical theatre all his life, Wills, would have had no trouble at all assembling a three-piece tree with connecting plugs and sockets. How wrong can you be? It's pitiful, isn't it? I'd just like to point out, sad lad, that I did this on my own last year. Success! Now on to the fun part. This chest is absolutely full of decorations. It's always such a fun time of the year. Up goes the garland above the hearth. Three, two, one, and switch on. We're finding all the things we bought this year now. I don't know what this is. It's in a Burgers Kim's box something. Oh, it's the little windmill from Old oh, House Satan. Was it by the flower market we bought this? Yeah. And he goes tingling and everything, I remember. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh, Barcelona. I remember this just before we, after we'd been in the uh, Sagrada Familia. A Gaudi bauble. We had such a lovely reminisce as we finished the tree. Now, Wills, an unboxing video, if you please. Right, our mate Ryan bought this is a little while ago, so we're going to do our first unboxing video. <laughs> oh. I don't know what it does. Okay, so unboxing videos are not going to be a main feature on Postcard and a Bite. How about Christmas interior design? I love it, you do it. As I've said in far too many videos, if you want something doing, just do it yourself. A little tweak. A cheeky wrap technique and... <laughs> right, let's get this tree finished. There's mulled wine to be made and a Christmas film to get on. As usual, Will's I've Got a 10 Second Attention Span kept getting sidetracked by various decorations from around the world. We bought this when we went to the Grand Canyon when we went to Vegas a few years back. And here's the Harrods bauble, still in its box from last year. On it goes. Ooh. Ah, the Harrods bauble trying its best to bring a touch of class to our knackered tree. This year's decorations were added to the hearth garland. It's fast becoming the postcard and a pint travel garland. New purchases from the Christmas store, a snowy scene on the photo frame. Candles are plenty. A finished tree. It was time for that mulled wine and film. But sadly, we just felt something was lacking. We'd failed to find Christmas in North Wales. Can we fix this? Well, after yesterday's epic fail of a day, I mean, what more could have gone wrong? We're going to try and salvage it today. It's the following evening. We believe there's a mould Christmas light switch on. 
Santa's going to be there. Let's save this video. Let's see if we can find Christmas in Mould. So back to Mould we went. It was certainly buzzing. The high street was now a fairground. It wasn't screaming Christmas yet, but it was great to see the community out and about and everyone having fun. And of course we met cute dogs. This one was gorgeous and this one was very festive. Good lad. Is that food? Nope, it's a thing that goes up and over and roundy roundy. Up and over and roundy roundy. It looks like yesterday's sausage disappointment is about to be rectified. I can feel the Christmas spirit oozing out of that sausage and into this video. Is that good, lad? Ah, the local ladies' choir. You sing it, girls. Hmm, an inflatable grotto. I'm not sure about that. There were a few stalls around the square, but what was fantastic was the community feel. I see Daniel Owen still supporting the Welsh football team. Uh, Dan lad, they lost. 3-0. Even more embarrassing, to England. Ah, the town band with a bit of O Christmas tree. Now it's getting festive. Everyone is here to see one special person. No, not that cute puppy. It's Santa. We're all here to see Santa and the light switch on. But first, let's head across to the Theatre Cluid stall and make some decorations. I think this is a massive save. This video's getting quite Christmassy. Now, where is he? I think what we've got to do is shout Santa. Can you all shout Santa? Yes. Certainly can. Oh, I don't think that's loud enough for me. Is that the best you can do? Or can you shout louder? There's a job in Panto for you somewhere, lad. There he is. Mould's finest Father Christmas. Waving and high-fiving as he goes by. So is he the real one then? I'm not so sure. Let's see if he can magically turn on the lights. Are you all going to join me now? I'm starting and go from 10, 9, 8, 7. It's getting exciting. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm afraid that's not loud enough at all. Here we go again. 10, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I told you, Santa was in magic. Santa certainly is magic, Mr. Mayor. And the Christmas season has officially begun. Too bad Flintshire County Council are making the kids stay in school until December the 23rd. But on a night like tonight, everyone... <laughs> ..is simply having a wonderful Christmas time. We took a stroll through town, looking at Christmassy displays in the windows. The church and the tree outside it certainly had some Christmas magic. It was great to see the high street lights now on and everyone enjoying the fair. Our Christmas spirit is as switched on as mould lights. And I think we should head home and sum up in case we accidentally hook a duck or end up in a teacup. See you there. We're back and it isn't mould wine, I'm afraid. With one thing and the other and all the fails, I had to go back out to work. Just didn't get round to making it. So, did we find Christmas in North Wales? Not really. Not in Wrexham, we didn't, no. But to be fair to Wrexham, I mean, it is November. Their social media, though, is rubbish. Online, it said 
either November or December the 11th or 12th. And when we got to Wrexham, there was posters all around Wrexham saying December the 3rd, so the three dates for it. Rubbish, wasn't it? But it was quite funny. It, it was. was a funny, funny day, and we did have fun. Mm. But mould? Go mm. on, mould. Mould? Mm. Yeah, I want to give it up for the mould events committee. They're good. They had that frost fair. By the next day, that was a full-on fun fair, mm -hmm. and it was a really lovely feel. It was. It would have been nicer if it was in December, it just still didn't feel quite Christmassy, I don't think. No, but everywhere's getting Christmassy yeah, now, isn't it? It's all getting Christmassy now, but I thought it was a really lovely day. Yeah. So, over the next few videos, will we find Christmas? We're getting further afield to we find are, it. We are. Can we tell them where we're going next okay, week? Okay, you tell them. We're going to London next week. We are. We're going to London's West End. We are. My niece, you might have heard of in other videos, has got her first professional job. She's in the West End for one night only. And, Dancing. And two other dancers that I've taught. They're all yeah. in the same show. So we're going to to go and see Ella, Megan and Maddie in uh, their fairy tale of New York next week and we're going to whip around the West End, get some lights, yep. see if we can find Christmas in London. Hell yeah. And then the following week we're going even we're further going afar, further afield. but we're not telling you where. You might we'll get a little a clue. clue there. Give you a clue. <laughs> so we'd like to say thank you for watching this video, thank you for watching us fail to find Christmas. Hang on, before we do that, oh. before we do that, score out of ten. Oh, score out of Marks ten. Marks out of ten. Marks out of ten for how Christmassy was that? Go yep. on then. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Oh. Wrexham, not a lot at all, <laughs> although I'm sure it will be in a yeah, week or so's yeah. time. Um, Mould did pretty Mold good. was really good. I'm going um, six and a half, seven. I'm going seven okay, for Mould. For okay, for the whole video, I'm yep. probably going to go six. Yeah. Yeah, for the whole video. Yep. But yeah, so let's see if we can do a little bit better next week in London. In London. And then even better again the week after, further afield. Yeah. So if you would like this video, we'd be so we do grateful. Love it if you did the yeah. Button. Hit the button. Check out the other mold video. Learn more about yeah. the place. And yeah. the other Wrexham video. And the other Wrexham video. That's good. That shows Wrexham really, really well. It does. It does. It does. Watch both of those videos. Mm. We'll link them below. We will. So for now, it's a very festive. Cheers, Cheers to, to the, the good times. times. See you next week in London. What do you get if you cross Christmas tree with an iPad? I don't know. A pineapple. Ugh.